Welcome teachers to our first session on how to enter your data into source. I need everybody to please get to the employee um, connections page, the Jeffco employee connections page and look for the upper tab that says source. Nicely take your arrow and click on source. When you get to the source you'll need to enter your ID and password. Nobody look at my password. Press submit. As you see the source main menu, you are going to click on to response to inner response to instruction. There you'll see classroom RTI notes, formerly Kane. Also, click on that at the top. From here you'll need to find Arvada K6. And for you, it's already there. I heard a small voice inside my head. <laughs> we'll say that we're Nancy Curran today. So Nancy, I know you're probably not in the room, but we will say that we are you. Under class, press your homeroom and your grade. <gasps> Look, down here in the yellow box, it says enter assessment scores. Press that button. This next screen says select assessment. So here you go. We're gonna try to enter our DRA2 scores. Boy, has this been a cluster month this year, but we will definitely get the right scores in at these end of the year scores. Oh, there's the class. Oh dear, as you can see, some students have not been scored yet. So we will need to press those ones that have not been scored. Angelina. Press the update button. There you go. There is the menu. So you'll have to have your DRA booklet in front of you, or I mean your DRA pamphlet sheets, the paper sheets, because you'll need to know all these things. Overall DRA level, oral reading fluency, total oral reading fluency, printed language concepts, and overall performance level. Whew. Once you've got all that logged in, press the save button. I'm not going to do that, of course, because we haven't entered the actual scores. Once you've saved it, it'll come up back to the screen and you'll be able to do your next student. Please work through each student sequentially and you might want to even get your students in alphabetical order before you do this so you can do this process streamlined and it won't take you very long. At the bottom of the page you'll notice it says print scores so make sure you do that so that you also have a hard copy of the data. That's all for now. Then you can get back to your main menu. I hear that voice inside my head say, excellent. <laughs> oh no, Mr. B